Hi everyone, my name is Chuck Watry and I'm a field product expert for Bro New Tone. And today we're gonna be taking a look at a New Tone 765H110L. This unit is a heater fan light and I'm just gonna take you through on how to replace the, the main assemblies, the fan assembly, the heater assembly, you know, and what to look for if this unit should fail and check. So let's get started. All right, the first thing we wanna do before we get up into this unit is to turn off the main power. Um, turn that circuit breaker off anytime you go up inside to change the heater or the motor assembly um, Just want to make sure that there's no power coming up to this unit for filming purposes I have this heater fan light unit sitting on a, on a table First thing I want to show you is how to take this light lens off of this unit what you can do is take a regular screwdriver and you can just put that screwdriver between the lens and the grill and just pry down on it. That lens will pop right off of there. Next to get into the unit, there's an eight core nut. Um, if you have a light bulb in there, you'd undo the light bulb and above that light bulb is this eight core nut. And you would basically just unscrew that eight core nut. Once that acorn nut is off, this whole grill and light lens will come down. And what you would do is you would unplug it. It's going to be the blue and white wire here. So you can grab hold, just unplug it, and there you have it. Once that grill is down, here's the heater. Here is the exhaust fan. If you were to ever need to replace the exhaust fan or want to clean it out, there's two screws that we're going to take out. So let's go ahead and remove those two screws. And it's a Phillips head. Once those two screws are removed, if you take a look at the housing, there's two tabs on one side and a single tab on the opposite side what you're going to do is you're going to take this regular screwdriver and you're going to slide it between the housing and that plate like so and what you're going to do is you're going to you're going to turn the handle of the screwdriver and what it's going to do is it's going to unsnap this tab like so so i'm going to lay this back down that fan assembly will unlock and you'll have the whole thing in your hand and you can just unplug it. This motor assembly can be thrown out and a new one can be purchased if the motor has failed. Um, the motor actually just comes out, there's four nuts holding that motor to the plate. This blower wheel just pulls off Okay. You know, if you needed to also, you would go through that same procedure and and you could, you know, if that blower wheel was full of dust and lint, same thing with the heater, you could pull these units out, you could take them out side and lightly blow it with the air compressor, or if you have a vacuum cleaner with some uh, bristle brush, you can you can suck the dust and lint out of these units. The number one failure for a heater is a lot of dust and lint basically gets drawn into that unit. And what can happen if you don't clean that out, it, it will overheat and there's a little thermal overload on the heating coil that will open up and stop that unit from working. First thing to do to get this heater assembly out, unplug it, just like so. There's two screws. And what you're gonna do is gonna remove those two screws. Once those screws are out, you gotta be careful because this can come down if it's mounted up in the ceiling. What you're gonna do is 
you can remove that heater assembly. There are hooks, and those two hooks hook into the, the housing there. Um, then the, you'd actually have the whole heater assembly in your hands. If the coil burnt out, that little thermal link inside burnt out, and you needed to replace a new heating coil or element, what you're going to do is, here's the black and white coming off the element. This is a little Molex plug. What you would do is unplug it. You would turn this unit around. Here's the other side of the heating coil. So what you're going to do, take a quarter inch nut driver or a regular screwdriver. And you're going to take those two screws out along with this plate. It'll lift right off of there. So it's just on there just like that. You're going to turn this unit around. And you're going to do the same thing to the opposite side. You're just going to take the quarter inch screws out. And that's two. This coil will lift right out of here now. Just like so. Tilt it on an angle because this is the plate. So your screws screwed into this terminal clip on the opposite side. That's all it is. So what you would do is you would buy... A new heating coil and you would just reverse the steps by sliding it in on an angle put the two screws in and put the two screws in on the opposite side um, you can take this coil out now if this thermalink was good and you could blow the dust and lint or, or vacuum this coil out as well and all you would do is just reverse the steps that I just showed you and you'd be good to go I hope this video helps. Thanks for watching.